In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I made over 5,000 pounds in 2020 by playing on casino games, slot machines, roulette, blackjack, you name it, any kind of casino game, I did it. And in this video, I'm gonna explain exactly how I did it and exactly how I made over 5,000 pounds. Uh, so before I jump in and start this video, I just wanna ask you for one quick favor. If you won't mind, just hit the like button just below this video. It literally takes you two seconds and it helps me out absolutely massively. So if you won't mind doing that, I'd really appreciate it. So I just want to start this video by saying that this wasn't like some sort of crazy gambling strategy where I was just hoping and praying, crossing my fingers and hoping that I'd win money over a period of time. It's based on maths, it's based on logic, and I knew over an extended period of time I was going to win way more money than I lost. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on my computer screen and I'm going to explain how casino offers work and how slot machines determine when to pay out and who to pay out and things like that. And once we've got that knowledge, we can use that knowledge to make guaranteed profits over an extended period of time from these slot machines and from roulette. And so what I'll do is I'll jump over to my computer screen and I'll explain that in some more detail. Okay, so there's loads and loads of different slot machines online and they all pretty much look and work in the same way. You can see here, this one's a jungle theme, Gonzo's Quest on the left hand side. This one on the right is like a, a game show theme, deal or no deal. And this one here is like a fruity sort of summery feeling theme as well. So they all themed and skinned a little bit differently, but they all work in exactly the same way. You're trying to get as many of these symbols as you possibly can in a row by staking your own money and trying to make as much money as you can and pull that money back out in profits. So that's the idea behind slot machines and that's how they work. But how does the machine decide who's gonna win and how much they're gonna win and things like that? Well, basically each of these machines is programmed by an algorithm to pay out a, a portion of whatever's put in. So 100% gets put in, the machine is then programmed to pay out a percentage of whatever's put in. So for example, with this one here, Gonzo's Quest Megaways, you can see on screen here on the right hand side, the return rate is 94.66%. Now this number is called the return to player, and this is the amount of money, the, not the amount of money, the percentage what's returned to the player. So 100% gets put in, this amount, 9466 is returned to the player. Not necessarily the same player, different players, different winnings and things like that. But 100% goes in, the machine is programmed to pay out 94.66% in winnings. So for example, with this Gonzo's Quest machine, if a thousand pound was staked over the course of a day, the machine would return 946 pound 60p. Of course, that evens out to the return to player, the RTP, 94.66%. So this one, another one here, Berry Burst, the RTP is slightly higher, the RTP this time is 96.56%. So this time we'll say £500,000 staked over the course of a week on this slot machine. Therefore, based on the RTP, the machine returns £482,300 in returns and it keeps the remainder for itself. And that obviously equals the RTP, which is 96.56 retention rate. So of course, 500,000 pounds staked, 482,300 pounds returned, and that gives the house, gives the house the edge of 3.54%. So the house is keeping 3.54% of whatever is staked on the machine. That's how the house always wins with these kind of games, with these slot machines and with these blackjack games and uh, roulette and things like that. They all have a house edge, and it's all geared towards the house winning more money than they lose. So basically. Gambling on slot machines is a negative strategy. And if you do gamble on slot machines over a longer period, you will lose more money than you win. So you're probably asking yourself, well, if that's the case, how can we actually make money from doing this? Well, we make money from this by using offers. Similar to match betting, we use offers to make money from uh, casino games as well. So I've just pulled these three offers from Odds Monkey. Uh, you can see they're from different bookmakers and different casino sites and things like that. And they all have one thing in common, as you can see here where the green boxes are, they all have a positive expectancy. They all have a positive expected value. Now basically the expected value based on the maths is telling you how much profit you're likely to make from completing the offer. So this top one here you can see it's a £5.99 expected value. This one in the middle is a £4.23 EV or expected value. And the third and final one at the bottom is a £3.19 EV or expected value. So the idea is you do as many as these offers as you possibly can, and you accumulate the EV over the course of a week or a month, and basically the more EV you do, the more profit you'll make. 
is essentially the idea behind how to make profit from casino games and blackjack and roulette and slot machines and things like that. So to work out if an offer is positive, has a positive expectancy, it's positive in EV, um, this is how we do it. So we'll use this example here, this uh, wager £20, get five £1 golden chips, and the EV for this offer is £4.23. So to work out how we got to that EV, what we do is we take the expected wagering loss, so we're going to be wagering £20 on the uh, Quantum Blackjack game, which has a 99.47% retention, return to player, so we, if we were to do that, the maths would tell us that we would expect to lose 11p of our stake. So we take that 11p loss from wagering on Quantum Blackjack, £20 at 99.47 ITP. We take our 11p loss and we add it to our expected bonus win from the bonus side of the offer, which as you can see is five £1 golden chips. So the host is money, the host is golden chips. We take the 11p loss that we took, the expected wagering loss, which is 11p, and then add it to the expected bonus win, which is £4.34. So 0.11 plus £4.34 equals our expected value, as you can see here, £4.23. So basically, this is a graph that I took from one of my months last year when I was doing these casino offers. As you can see, I did roughly about around £225 worth of EV. Um, the offers are at the bottom here, so the, the left-hand side is offer number one. The far right is off of 109. As you can see over time, the EV continues to go up. It never goes down because I never do offers what are negative and we ever focus on offers that are positive and expected value. So I've just taken out the profit line just for now, just to show you the EV line and how the EV line works, how it only goes up over time. So I want to ask you a question. How do you think the profit and loss line will look in relation to the EV line? How do you think the profit and loss line will correlate in relation to the EV line? Do you think it will correlate and run directly alongside it or do you think there'll be bumps and swings and things like that when I load this up? So I'm going to load this up and you can see it doesn't run exactly you know, streamlined to the EV line but over the course of a pe period of time you can see it pretty much evens out and it actually goes above the EV line in this example as well. You can see we have wins and losses, we have winning streaks, losing streaks but over the period of time we know this is positive the maths is in our favour and we know we're going to make money long term from doing positive EV offers. So you can see here at this point where the red box is, you can see we went on a losing streak. Now I didn't freak out, I didn't sort of panic and think, oh, you know, that's it, I'm going to stop this now, I'm going to lose money. Because I knew the strategy is positive and we're doing a positive expected value strategy, I just left it, remain calm, and straight after that you can see the profit and loss evened out back to EV and then we're back on, on track, basically. And if I show you another... EV and profit and loss graph from a different month you can see same sort of thing again we get wins and losses over the short term but over the long term the EV and the profit and loss pretty much even out and they pretty much follow a, you know a trend and they correlate nicely and things like that and you can see down at the bottom the P&L per offer you can see we pretty much win every single offer that I did this month but obviously there's a few losses as well which is just variant so it can't be helped but over the course of a period of time, you can see how, it, how closely evens out and how good the correlation actually is between the month EV and the month profit and loss. So basically, the more EV you do, the more positive expectancy based offers that you do, the more profit you'll make from doing low-risk casino. Uh, so yeah, the more offers you do and the more money you put into this, and the more EV that you accumulate over a period of time, the more money that you're actually going to make. It's kind of weird because normally if you were just recreationally gambling on slot machines and playing blackjack for fun and things like that, it would be the opposite. So the more money you put in, the more money you'd lose. But because you're using offers and you're using positive expectancy and positive EV, you're going to make more money the more money you put in and the more EV that you accumulate over an extended period of time. It is important to note that you really want to have a strong mentality when you're doing these kind of casino offers. They aren't exactly like free bet offers where you make a profit every single time. There is a little bit of variance involved. Although you're going to win the vast majority of times, it is possible to go on some small losing streaks now and again. Now, once these occur and once you do start to go on small losing streaks, it's important to have that good psychological, you know, psychological mindset. Trust what you're doing, trust the maths behind what you're doing, and keep putting your money in, keep uh, accumulating EV, keep collecting as much EV as you possibly can. 
and it will pay off for you over the long run and it will even out to EV and you will be profitable. But it's important to see through any uh, downswings or anything like that. Stay positive, stay focused on your offers and you will make some decent profits. So where do I find these casino offers? Well, for me personally, I use OddsMonkey and I use the Casino Hub what's on OddsMonkey. Now this is like the daily offer calendar if you use to match bet and it literally just lists all the casino offers that are available each day in a big long list and you can just work your way through collecting some EV, move on to the next offer, collect some more EV. And that's what I do. I just work through, collect as much EV as I possibly can. Uh, so if you do want to join OddsMonkey, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Now, if you use that link, you can get free trial to OddsMonkey. I'm not 100% sure if the Casino Hub is included within the free trial. You'd have to check that. But the link's down below in the description for a free trial if you want to jump over to OddsMonkey and give it a go. Uh, so that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time and your concentration in watching this video. If you didn't do it before, please, please, please hit the like button. It helps me out massively as I stated before and it literally takes you two seconds to do. And if you wanna get my videos sent to you as soon as they're released, hit the subscribe button and YouTube will send you my videos as soon as I, uh, as soon as I release them to YouTube. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.